Hey guys, D from the Omnic Post here. And then, please again, please again. Welcome to the Omnic Recap, a video series that tackles this week's Overwatch news. <laughs> Let me go fetch all of this week's news. Dude, it's long. What the hell, Blizzard? I've been waiting here all day, sitting at my desk, waiting for you to spoil something, to bring us something, to give us some news, something to work with, something I can do. But nothing. Nothing. Love you. We have anxiously been waiting for some news on Hero 31. And with good reason. Blizzard seems to have a rather strict schedule when it comes to releasing new heroes. A oh, history lesson. Anna was the first new hero to be introduced after the initial release back in 2016. Blizzard announced the support of Grandma on July 12th. And one week later, on July 19th, which is one day after my birthday, let's see. She was released, and they must have felt really confident about her balancing, which kind of explains the short period between her announcement and her release. And they weren't far off. She was slightly undertuned, but they fixed that really quickly. Now let's fast forward. A year later, on July 6th, Doomfist was officially announced. He had been leaked by data miners on June 24th. By that time, he was one of the most requested heroes in Overwatch history. Everyone and their aunt, their uncle, their mother, their father, their neighbor, the girlfriend of their neighbor, their toaster, their dog, their hamster, wanted the man that made the fist bump into a murder weapon into the game. But we had to be patient, little critters. Because Blizzard didn't release Doomfist till July 27th, which is kind of far from my birthday just saying <laughs> he was and still is of course a very different type of character than any of the other characters that we've seen in game blizzard always describes his ability kit as a love letter to 2d fighting games dear gal and his legendary status as the big villain as the guy that is pitched in the first ever trailer as the man that can level a freaking skyscraper well that kind of stacks the expectations and blizzard needed to handle that those three weeks of ptr were really necessary and up till now doomfist is still a character with issues not only personal like a lot of bugs let's skip another year forward on june 28 2018 blizzard introduced the overwatch community to wrecking ball aka hammond with a short video that they posted on social media. Prior to that, they had been teasing the new hero with some poster art, with some animated GIFs, even with some lore updates to Lunar Colony, which is the place where the little creep escaped. Yeah, there, I said it. He's creepy. Yes, he is. No, he's not cute. You are cute. Wait. That came out wrong. Wrecking Ball had been on the table since the early stages of development. He had been postponed several times because they were worried, yet again, about his unusual kit and the effect on the game. This time we had to wait almost four weeks till he was released to the live service on July 24th. Which is a little closer to my birthday, J just saying. That was the longest PTR run up till now. So we are well into the announcement window for the summer hero, aka the D's birthday hero. But we haven't seen any hints towards who this hero actually might be. Apart from the heroes that they announced at BlizzCon, this might be the first time that they don't tease a hero at all. Well, unless we are missing the hints, but I don't see that happening with such a beautiful and smart community. Come on, guys, give yourselves a hand. Beautiful! Or maybe Maga is the next hero, so I was basically wrong in this video. Is something afoot here? <laughs> foot. Is that it? Uh, foot. Jeff stated in an interview earlier this year that the release schedule for this summer would be different. Fire Daleza! Might he have been talking about this? That the hero will be a lot later? But why? Might it be tied into the summer games? <laughs> 
how can a hero be tied into the summer games de well let me tell you usually they pick a specific location for the summer games and Lucio Ball in particular. It started out in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, the second year we went to Sydney, Australia, and last year we went to Busan in Korea. What if Hero 31 is tied into the city of this year's arena? What if he, she, them, they has a very sporty feel? Maybe a baseball player with a grudge? Well, that last one would be strange, but you know, we have a creepy hamster in the game. Don't start it again! He's creepy! In any case, if they plan to tie in the hero with the Summer Games event, we'll have to wait till the first week of August before we see the hero live. But it gets worse, guys! Put on those tinfoil hats! Never mind, take them off. Yeah, seriously, you look like fools. Take them off. Yeah, you too. Especially you. Come on! What if they want to announce the new hero on Gamescom? But they're not going to Gamescom? Oh, really? Why? Come on, Blizzard! Nah, no, but seriously, if they want to show off the new hero at an event, it will most likely be San Diego Comic Con, which starts on July 18th. What? That's my birthday! <laughs> but that would be really late. That would suck. Big time. But whenever it happens, the Omnic post will be on the case. Make sure to check us out on Instagram, on Twitter, Facebook, and on this channel, of course. We'll keep you guys updated, right? Okay. The workshop has been out for a few weeks now. And as we expected, we've seen some really creative use of that new feature. Blizzard already stated that they would keep supporting this tool and the community of awesome creators that use it. This week, they teamed up with Twitch for one of their Twitch rival tournaments. Where some of the most popular Overwatch streamers went head to head in a variety of custom games made in the workshop. The tournament featured a total of 14 different modes from the popular gun game to Emote Watch, in which players kill their opponents by using emotes. The final mode of the tournament was Steal the Crown, a play mode in which all players play as Tracer and need to capture and hold the crown to earn points. The twist is that they can only use their melee ability to stun other players. 12 streamers took part in this event, including XQC, Imong, Gale Adelaide, Fira, Yule, Cupkick, and more. But in the end, it was Wanted that took the big prize home and walked up. That went home. That logged off with $3,800 in his pocket. On his bank account. In Twitch credits. I, I don't know, man. I don't know how these guys are paid. I'm just a small streamer. I have no fucking clue. Oh, man. Twitch.tv slash AtomicsTV. Talking about workshop modes, Darwin streams the king of the workshop. The Dr. X. The Gandalf. The Obi Wan! Yeah, you get it. He, he's really good. Well, he managed to make Zenyatta walk. I am the laser. See, while Zenyatta actually has legs, he prefers flying around. His mind, or his processor, is in such a heightened and elevated state that the mechanical act of walking is beyond him. And I can't blame him! Not only is he saving money on shoes, just flying around like that looks Really, really classic. I wish I could do that. Players have always wondered what it actually would look like if Zenyatta walked. So Darwin Streams cracked his fingers, went to the doctor, came back home, and started working. While I appreciate the effort, I can't help but being creeped out by the result. His legs don't actually move, and he looks like this floating corpse in one of those Japanese horror flicks. With the girl with the long hair that comes out of the door! Just check it out for yourself. That's it for today, folks. But let's add a question of the week. What is your favorite workshop mode? Put it in the comments and I might try it out on stream. You know. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see all of my future videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you get a notification every time I upload a video, okay?
If you want the latest updates on Overwatch, make sure to follow The Omnic Post on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. And you can find me on all those different platforms as Atomics TV. And as I said, I stream a few days in the week on twitch.tv slash atomicstv. All the links are in the description below. Thanks again for watching and until next time, bye bye.